What's up guys? Uh, today we are first turning down the brightness of my lights. Better. We are taking a look from Small Rig, looking at the Small Rig wireless microphone. Now, this is about $150 to $200 depending on sales. Retail is $200, $150 is the sale price. So right off the bat, the box, um, dual channel, mono stereo switching. Uh, you have three LCD screens, which is just saying that each of these guys, here, let's do low cut. You can do up to eight hours of battery life. Oh, here we go. Um, receiver, trans two transmitters, furry windscreen, storage case, carrying bag, audio cable, different audio cable for phones. USB-C charging cable, stickers, and a manual. Ooh. So we are greeted with little case. They're pretty experienced with different materials. Uh, they're doing a lot with all their products before this one with very low budgets. This is the case and I believe everything's inside, but we have a USB-C port here and a USB traditional A cable underneath. So this is if you have USB-C everything, which, ooh. This whole entire case, everything magnetically fits in. Now, all of, obviously all these things are plastic. Every receiver and transmitter is plastic. Small rig is pretty good about dialing down costs. Their cages for most of the cameras are half to a third the price of the, the really nice ones, like the Tiltas. Um, so there's, there is some math involved in how much money they're spending on materials, but everything has wireless charging with two little pads, two little receivers here. Each one has that, so it's wireless charging with two small contacts. It also has USB-C charging um, and headphone monitoring and output. Yeah, someone spent a lot of time getting that noise. Just plus and minus uh, zero to 10. I would imagine, yep. You can basically flip mono to stereo to mono to stereo. Cool. So if you wanted to split your channels that way or combine them, microphones built in. And so you don't need lav mics. Now this kit does not include any lav mics. My suggestion, like that's how they definitely cut some prices down. Uh, my suggestion is going out and getting some lav microphones, some little lapel mics, sorry, um, and go from there. Oh, interesting. They have magnetic stickers in here, which would mean, oh, that's, so that's just held on by one single magnet. That's, this is definitely made for wedding shooters, um, to just, just slap things and microphones onto spaces so you get a whole group rather than just one individual person. I get where we're going. That maybe even speaks more a little bit to who this is for. Um, the lapel mics again, uh, Rode makes a couple lesser expensive ones, um, but there's going to be a list of, you know, optional ones. There's a guy that suggested one. I'll probably put that link in the in the description, it's probably 10 or 20 bucks if my memory serves me right. The Rode mics are going to be higher quality and they're probably going to be about 40 bucks to 50 bucks. Based on this, didn't want to partner with someone to make them lapel mics with their labeling or something. So Small Rig did the smart part. I know that sounds weird, but they just created the devices and the microphones that are built into those um, and didn't necessarily worry about what you're connecting the actual microphone or the transmitters to. USB-C, USB-A um, charging cable. Also has a stereo cable, this is for your camera, it's red. There is a secondary cable, which is, it clearly says, 
for phone. Easiest way you can identify is one, it's black and it has three stripes. Uh, below is our instruction manual, which obviously if we're wanting to change certain little settings and it comes with this, I hate the feeling of freaking microfiber. Um, it's a microfiber bag. Uh, you can you know, obviously put your case in there and I don't, I don't do anything with bags. They just collect. So I appreciate it for all those people that want a bag. Um, you get one included, you can throw all your accessories in, but the big killer that this guy has over every mainstream situation is this case is wireless charging. The DJI um, microphone system that they have is very similar in function. It probably has a little more software behind it, um, so it'd probably be for some parties a better product but it's also $150 more um, and they both do the wireless charging or you plunk it into the case charging. Okay. Checking mic levels. Oh, this is mono right now. Okay. I'm gonna switch to stereo. Yeah, so this is, ah, uh, somehow it got messed up. We're just gonna walk down this hallway. I'm gonna talk about stuff and things and a da da da. Nobody home. Blah 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 blah. Do 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 do. Still hopefully has something outside. Checking range for this guy I don't know we'll see if it cuts out going around this is probably what like 50 feet 60 feet around a corner so it's claiming to be somewhere around like 180 or forget what is it supposed to be is it 180 or 360 feet um, of range this is the test of the built-in microphone for the small rig wireless audio system. Uh, I would imagine it's definitely more sensitive right now. This microphone is definitely more sensitive than the built-in microphone. Uh, how does it sound? This is a test of the small rig wireless microphone system with a lavalier lapel mic rather than the built-in microphone. Small Rig Forvala W60 wireless microphone. Manufacturer Shenzhen Laki <laughs> Network <laughs> and Technology Co. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Rooms 103, 501, and 601, Building 5. Plug in these little Rode mics and we'll see if you can see a difference. This is a test of the Rode Go first edition systems with the built in microphone uh, in the same pocket, everything's the same. Hopefully this sounds a little bit more improved again. Um, it looks like that I might be peaking a little bit more with this microphone. Like we said before, it's very sensitive, a simple system. This was the first to do it. Uh, everybody else was releasing these bigger, bigger traditional packs. Um, a lot of them still using AA batteries, which are fine if you have a bunch of rechargeables. It's just, having uh, AA batteries with a lot of stuff when it comes to professional work is fine. It's just, they die so quick that you always have to have an entire supply of charging batteries, all this stuff just ready to go. And so you basically are just thumbing through <laughs> a pile of batteries to get your stuff to go. But this small rig wireless microphone the, the worst name in the world, Forever Law. It's trying to be clever, right? It's like a forever lavalier thing. Naming system aside, if this is as good as it looks, um, I'm going to switch to it. Uh, so this, this is again, a first look and a small review, not an in-depth review of the small rig Forever Law 60W wireless mo microphone system. They should have just called it the small rig W1. 
just you can you can guys at small rig can take that thanks guys <laughs> see you next time i guess i might be signing out when i'm editing this so